morning guys well almost afternoon it's almost noon it's 11 18 and today i woke up way early before everyone had breakfast did some of my mom morning stuff but then decided to go back to sleep um and so me and the kiddos ended up sleeping in till after nine once i had gone back to sleep and then we got up got around i had second breakfast they had first breakfast um getting some of my paper from my can and my rice there and now we just got done doing some of our morning chores if we just stop here and there and tidy throughout the day we don't ever have to like clean clean like you know tidy i say let's stop and do a quick tidy we all do that makes the day easier because your house is not disgusting <laughs> anyway we're gonna have tacos for dinner so i'm getting that rice going that we got from frugal fit mom like white rice Chicken bully on cube, water, can of Rotel, which is just tomatoes and diced peppers, diced chilies. Um, I'm going to get this going. My meat is already thawed, and that just takes a few minutes to cook up. So I'm not going to get that going in any Instant Pot. I'll just cook it on the stove when I get home. Um, no, that's not what I want to do. So, I'm trying to get, remember what I do this on. I think it's seven. That Instant Rice does not take very long in the Instant Pot. Anyway, um, this would be day two of trying not to go to public places for us. Um, I know a lot of the nation is doing that, supposed to be doing that, unless you can't. Um, I mean, we homeschool, so the only difference for us is the library is closed. We can't go there. The zoo, the science museum, all that stuff is closed. The YMCA is closed. Um, play dates, play groups, field trips, all that's canceled. So it is somewhat different. Um, and I'm almost out of milk. Look, I've got this much milk left. I didn't buy a lot when I was grocery shopping for like extra dinners and state um, shelf stable items and stuff because I only have the one fridge and freezer. So I did not buy a lot of milk. Well, now I'm almost out. So I have to make the decision of having Aaron run by the store, me go in the store, um, all of us go in the store, or having it delivered, pick up. I could maybe do one more pick up. I kind of feel bad. For the Walmart employees, I know they are so busy and they have to be so stressed out that I don't like want to put an order on them because I'm sure they have so many. So I might just run by a store local and just grab some milk um, and make sure that's all I need so I don't go back again in a day or two. But anyway, got this rice going. I'll do the meat when I get back. We're going to go out and take a walk. We walked uh, quite a few times yesterday even though it was like drizzling the whole day. We just put on our jackets, went outside played anyway if you follow me on Instagram which is just a risky land um, you would have seen stories of all of our walks we did a lot of read alouds and painting and things like that so I dropped my can lid on the floor it's driving me nuts okay anyway I'm gonna quit yapping we're gonna go get outside we go say beep beep. Beep, beep. beep beep since the high school in our neighborhood is closed down what Okay, let me see. We decided to bring our scooters. Well, Alyssa brought the dog, but bring our scooters and ride in the parking lot. That way we don't have to worry about cars. It would be spring break anyway, which it's going to rain every day this week, but... Mom, I'm heading into a different Yeah. Mom, I go in. Go to the pedal. Woo. Is that fun? Luna's having a good adventure. It's a lot smoother than our road, also. The bad guys? Oh no! So we're just gonna enjoy this for a little bit before Daddy gets home for lunch and goes to, to real work. He's got about two jobs right now. Yeah, we gotta go, go. We gotta go, go. Stadium is actually where I asked Aaron to a dance and that's where that all began. I asked him to a dance. I did. I asked Eddie to a dance and he said, well, why would I go to a dance? And I said, so you can dance with me. And he came and here we are, a zillion years later and a whole herd of kiddos. On your mark, get set, go! 
Oh, careful, 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 careful. Okay. Violet's not used to this kind. She's used to that kind, but it broke. So she's using Melissa's. You're doing good. I was launching. Yeah, now you're doing good. Back to Melissa's way down there with Luna. Violet, or not Violet, I always call Natalie and Violet each other's names. Natalie and Liam. They remind me of each other. Alright, you can go back up it. Let's see. Ooh, there they go. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Good job. And down, down, down. We need helmets. We don't ride these very often, but now that I'm thinking about it, usually we just ride them in our little driveway. <laughs> okay, that's good. It's good and slow. Look at this, Liam. There's still more in my pocket. There's more in your pocket. He is finding all the money here. He'll be rich. He might find enough to go to the Dollar Tree and buy one thing. Because <laughs> it would take you a hundred pennies, huh? A hundred and like nine. Pay for your tax. And I would like count them up. Mm -hmm. So I had to, oh, wait, wait. Yeah. You liked to do that. And you found a dime too? Awesome. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, we are back home. Natalie didn't take a jacket. It was the same temperature yesterday, but much more warm. This is what the moisture has done to my bangs. Same temperature, but like less wind and stuff, I guess. Um, anyway, we are back home. Ugh. Yeah, daddy's home trying to get meat out. I'm gonna start the tacos. I was doing really good not having any Braxton Hicks today. I had him all day again yesterday. I think I'm gonna let my midwife know. I think this is why I didn't know I was in labor with Aria, was because my last trimester was just like this. So I got too used to it. But yeah, the walk brought him back. I had to stop, because it was so tight. Anyway, I'm gonna try to relax, drink lots of water, eat lots of protein. I'm gonna get this taco meat going. I'm gonna use this ground turkey. Hello. I'm gonna use this ground turkey I got on sale at Fire Lake. And I was thinking I might do a Fire Lake pickup, because I bet they're less busy. I hear they're more well stocked just for milk and some things like that. So, anywho, gonna get this going. I am starving. All right, our dinner is done. Our meal we eat all together before Aaron goes to work. This is our fancy salsa bowl here. So nice. Liz always has her tacos just in a bowl. Fun fact for you. Natalie always has cheese quesadilla. Yes, everyone really likes this rice. But the rest of us, oh, Liam doesn't like tortillas, so he just has meat. And if we have beans, which I know I have pinto beans, I just didn't want to dig in my overfull pantry cabinet thing to mm -hmm. find them. So, and I just threw out the bag of grapes because that's my mom in level today. Just throw the grapes at the people. Baby Hudson's a cute baby. Baby Hudson's a cute baby. I agree. He's gonna be so cute. Yeah, yeah when he comes out. Yeah. He's gonna be a mouse. He's gonna be I would so hope so. Born. He'll be so born. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, what you got going on? I have a drinking place, a fixing place, and a bus flying thing. <laughs> a drinking place, a fixing place, and a flying bus, huh? Let's see, where's your drinking place? This? Yeah. yeah. Ice cream Sunday. <laughs> Ice cream, oh. Batman's enjoying that. What's that? Very cool. Yoda's waiting for his yeah. ship to be fixed. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Okay, so we're back from putting air in my tire. Um, it has that leak and my bangs from being wet today and the mist this morning. Anyway, a slow leak and we have this have to fix it. Um, but Aaron doesn't have the time today between jobs because it's on the inside of the tire. Anyway, we're back from that. And I was just taking a little time on my phone, which I shouldn't do at this point because everything on Facebook stresses me out. But a little bit of time on my phone before Aaron heads to work and then me and the kids start um, some school type stuff um anyway and I keep seeing things about because public school is out how now everyone's homeschooling and I just want to say schools are going to be out for like what three weeks if my children were in public school and they were suddenly home for three weeks you guys I wouldn't be worried unless your school is requiring it of you which I don't think is the case for most people unless your school is requiring it of you I wouldn't be worried about notebooks like I went into Dollar General the other day and I noticed all their little workbooks, pencils, markers, all that was gone. So this may be all good and fun. People, like when I was a kid, I loved workbooks. I have some kids who love workbooks. Like if we don't do them, they want to do them anyway. 
um, or parents needing like boredom busters. Maybe they're working from home and they need their kids to be busy. I get all that. But if you're just worried about your kids' education and them somehow lacking it from not schooling for three weeks, I just, I think people need to calm down and realize your kids are going to learn so much just from being home with you for those three weeks. And I like a thing, I like this thing I saw and it talked about not to be worried so much about pen and paperwork. While your kid's at home, teach them how to cook. Teach them how to change a tire. Teach them how to sew. Teach them, you know, do some cleaning. Teach them how to deep clean things. Teach them how to do the laundry. Teach them how, there's just, there's so many things. Or like, follow their passion. Maybe your kid loves coding. Give them some extra time on the computer. There's tons of free websites right now, letting their courses be taken for free. Because of all this going on, let your kids spend hours doing that. Maybe it's Minecraft, and I'm not a huge screen person, but I also don't limit it hugely either. Um, I let my kids all have a couple of hours a day playing games just for fun that they enjoy. Um, I don't let them do it all day because I can see a big difference in some of them when they do it for too long. But if your kid loves Minecraft, you know what? Maybe let them have a couple hours of, day, of the day, little, 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 I can't talk, to just play that. Um, gardening. Maybe your kid loves gardening. Take this time, explore that with them, learn it with them, or if you know it, teach it to them. Get outside. Um, yeah, everything is canceled, but you know what? We have taken more walks in just these two days than we have in weeks, just because there's nothing else to do. Um, we went for a walk the other day, we picked lots of flowers, we found out what they were, we found earthworms, we helped them get back to the dirt because they were going down the street in the water. Um, talked about that, all kinds of things. Have discussions with your kids. If they're old enough and you feel like it's okay, let them know what's going on, talk about it. It gives you a great chance to talk about how viruses work. A really big red bird just flew right in front of me. Um, how just all this is global. You can talk about different countries and what their protocols are and how that is different from what our protocols are. There's just so much that you can be doing with your children. There's great documentaries if you just want to sit around and watch TV. Um, also, you know, and enjoy it. Yeah, you can watch something educational on TV, but maybe your kid loves a certain sitcom. Well, sit and enjoy that with your kid. You know what I mean? Like, keep it fun and light. I think that everything is stressful enough, and even if kids don't know all the details, I think they can feel their parents' energy and know if we're stressed and they hear us talking um, and all that. So keep it light and keep it fun and enjoy being with your kids. It's a gift. Um, it's also a hardship, I understand. If you have to work, you're having to find care for your children. I can't even understand how stressful that must be. Or if you're missing work and you're losing income, again, I can't imagine how stressful that would be. Um, so I can't tell you, obviously, how to fix some of those scenarios. I'm sorry, my battery died. Um, but yeah, so obviously, some situations are different than others. You might not have the time um, or energy to do all that stuff I just said. But I'm just saying, from what I'm reading on Facebook, it's a whole lot of putting stress on parents to all of a sudden know how to homeschool, want to homeschool, not everyone wants to, not everyone will enjoy it. And then also, if you are trying to all of a sudden homeschool, you need to understand that this is not a norm for homeschoolers. Um, we can use the socialization joke, um, but homeschoolers are normally out socializing very frequently. We do lots of things, so this would kind of give you an improper taste of what it's like, um, and I hope that you understand that. Plus, the added stress and pressure on you is going to take from your patience. Um, I, that's something I get said um, to me a lot. I don't know how you have that much patience. And no, I don't have superhuman patience. No homeschooling mother does. Some of us have more than others. Some have less than others. But I think in this time of stress um, and worry, that we're all gonna have a little bit less patience than normal. So if you're trying to homeschool, you have to think of that. But I just keep saying all these things of how to homeschool with your kids during these three weeks. And I wanna say, keep it light and keep it fun. Find activities that you and them enjoy doing. Also take this time to do things that you're passionate about and that you enjoy doing, that you can do from home. Maybe it's exercising, maybe it's journaling, maybe you love to draw or paint or read, maybe you love to play music, um, maybe you love to research a certain topic and you just don't ever have time for it because your kids see you playing out your passions, they'll find it in themselves to do that also because kids learn from example, um, not from what we say. I can tell my kids to read all day, but it works a lot better if they see me reading. You know what I mean? So, or the same thing. I can tell my kids to go exercise all day. It's gonna work a lot better if they just see me exercising or 
put whatever example you want in there. So don't stress yourselves out if your kids are in public school and all of a sudden they're home. I'm sure that is stressful enough. Not that you're not enjoying them, but whenever our schedules get out of whack, I don't know about you, but that is stressful for me. Um, I'm not a super like strict schedule person. I'm a routine person. <clears throat> And I know when my routines get out of whack, it is stressful to me um, and just, it's hard to deal and cope sometimes. So I just wanna encourage you to slow down with your kids, have fun with your kids, learn with your kids. Don't try to all of a sudden be a homeschool expert. Um, it takes many years for most homeschool parents to feel comfortable um, in that zone. So, you know, if you are trying it and you just think you can't, don't let these three weeks make you feel like you can't if it's something you truly want to do um it takes years to feel comfortable in it um and it's an up and down thing like everything in life but yeah i know we um are eclectic homeschoolers i have a video coming out soon kind of about our homeschool style and things that we've switched up and what we're doing because it is a little different than when i first started my vlog um been a little over a year now since I started we are doing things differently it's going well I'm enjoying it I haven't shared a lot about it I'm gonna make a video of that soon but anyway yeah the point of this rant hopefully it wasn't too long like I said calm down slow down don't worry so much about academics they happen pick some good read alouds or like I said you go find something you love to read tell your kids it's quiet time we're all gonna read paint do fun things go on nature walks all that stuff that I already said I could go on and on but that's what I think who's spying you spying on me I'm just kidding you can come out that's what I think everyone needs to do these three weeks is kind of reconnect and bond as a family and be there for each other um, and just enjoy each other's company and you'll probably learn some things about each other with all this time suddenly together I mean even us we're together all the time huh all the time but I know if we slow down our days because even as homeschoolers we can have really busy days can't we where we're just going and going and going yeah and we'll have weeks where we're just full of events that we're going to and groups that we're going to and so even for us even though we're together during those times we sometimes need to take breaks um, and slow down and just really enjoy each other's company and kind of reconnect and um, reground ourselves if you will so I just don't want everyone to get so caught up in trying to figure out what to do and they need to be perfect and they need to stay on top of their academics for their children and find all these cool and creative and fun things to do. That can be stressful. So calm down, take it one day at a time and see what your kid wants to do. Ask them, what do you want to do? Um, and then take it seriously, my opinion, and do that. And it doesn't have to be grand. Maybe they wanna just do puzzles do some puzzles. Maybe they want to get really good at playing chess, play some chess. Maybe they just want to read a bunch of comic books. Let them read or the maybe comic they books. Just take a walk. Maybe they just want to take a walk. Go on a walk, right? Mm -hmm. You can learn a lot of things on a walk, can't you? Yeah, and you can see pretty things. And you can see pretty things. So words from the wise here, <laughs> right? Anyway, that's my little tidbit for that. Um, and you can let me know in the comments Maybe your homeschool family, nothing's changing. Maybe your homeschool family who does a lot of things, and so co-ops and groups and classes, and, and that's changing. I know for us, we have uh, play dates and um, not really co-ops, but events and classes that are canceled. Um, or maybe you're a public school parent and your kids are suddenly home. Let me know what it's like for you and uh, what you're doing and going through and some tips you have for others that'll read the comments. I'm sure they'll appreciate them. We're about to go inside, aren't we? We're gonna say goodbye to Daddy. And then we're going to read some more Mr. Popper's Penguins. And should we paint or play with Play-Doh while we do that? Hmm. Or we could play with Legos. I think maybe you need a nap. <laughs> do you need a nap? But I also want to play a game. Oh, you want to play a game? Okay, well we might just play a game then. Oh. Right? Okay. Really made a lemon cream cheese cake. Erin's really been wanting them to make cake, and we keep not. So My this is her crumbly mess here. My. Okay, let's get a plate. I feel like I'm always ending vlogs leaning against this counter hours or days later. But you got our book for us. We're gonna go finish read or not finish. We're gonna go continue reading. You got blueberries? Okay, she's had blueberries. We're reading Mr. Popper's Penguins. So we're gonna go. You have blueberries on your face, baby. You need to go wash off. Um. Go read some more of that. We watched something on Hulu. What was it called? Tasty Handmade. 
we turned that on and they were making like handmade pastas and breads and saltwater taffies and candies and all kinds of stuff and it was very relaxing the way it was filmed and the music and just all of it and I ended up falling asleep so I got a good nap um, but yeah we had some like silent reading time and the kids played lots of games um, got bass going and then it started thunderstorming so we've been kind of enjoying that I was in the bath and I kept hearing thunder and I thought man those kids are really running <laughs> it was thunder once I realized it was thunder I got out because I do have some kids who do not like storms at all which I like storms so I don't know where they get that from um, I've never really been scared of storms and we live in Oklahoma where we get lots of tornadoes and stuff um, and I've just never they don't freak me out too bad that's my phone dinging so this is my after bath hair it goes right back up into that bun I live in that thing um, anywho and then the kids have been watching what cutthroat kitchen we like cooking shows around here a lot we watch those a lot but anyway we're gonna go read um, I already got the kitchen cleaned up the kids will tidy up the dining room and living room after we read it's not a lot it's like some Legos and some cups and stuff it's not a big deal and then we're gonna head off to bed it's about eight now so anyway I hope you guys are having a blessed day staying safe staying sane if you're staying inside and uh, healthy so anyway we'll talk to you guys later bye y'all